Vikram Aditya and welcome to JDrop Tech. In this session, we are going to discuss about the SAP UI5 Fiori interview questions. This is a part one of the entire course. Like, uh, so you can you can ping me for the rest of the question answers. So we have uh, more than 500 question answers on UI5 and Fiori. So here we are covering just 10 of them. So let's get started. What is SAP UI5? So SAP UI5 is a JavaScript based UI framework used to build responsive web applications for SAP systems. It supports HTML5 and CSS3. So let me let me just give you a simple background about SAP UI5. Basically SAP acquired a, a organization called Open UI5 and Open UI5 was a platform where anyone can could uh, contribute and uh, work on the libraries but then SAP introduced sap ui5 which is based on top of this uh, ui5 environment and they built sap ui5 uh, and it supports html5 and css3 what is sap fury so sap fury is a design language and user experience approach by sap for building intuitive and easy to use applications across devices let me give you an example like uh, the 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 platform which they have used for building the sap fury happens to be the ui5 so fury is a few applications built on top of the ui environment ui5 environment so you can just customize those applications and if you don't like that application so it doesn't fit your requirement you can build your own fury applications on the ui5 environment what is the difference between SAP UI5 and Fiori? So SAP UI5 is a development toolkit and SAP Fiori is a design based uh, principle. UI5 is used to create Fiori applications. So it's a platform. UI5 is a platform on top of it. Already a lot of Fiori applications have been built with applications whenever it is required. What are the components of SAP Fiori architecture? SAP Fiori architecture includes front end server the sap gateway the back suit web dispatcher what is mvc in your sap ui5 model view controller architecture is a very popular architecture which is used to uh, model first and then view view the screens and then control the logic behind it so it's a design pattern used in sap ui5 as well to separate application logic from ui so what are the Fiori design principles? Role based, responsive, simple, coherent and delightful. What do you ex uh, how do you extend a standard SAP Fiori application? So using web IDE. We can build the applications also using the web IDE and web IDE developers can use extension points or override uh, the uh, the view controllers uh, in, in, the, in this particular thing and we have got a latest uh, ui as well where we can actually go ahead and do this applications it is under the btp environment wherein we can go and um, you know open the business application studio and there we can build the applications the latest uh, scenario so all that you have to do is you have to inst uh, you know install this sap uh, business application studio and from there we can do it bas please remember about bas i'm going to talk about more about this in the coming sessions so what is a component.js file so it is an entry point for a sap ui5 application it initializes applications and routes component.js what is sap gateway a technology that provides a connection between sap backend and frontend ui5 fury using odata services how do you consume odata in sap ui5 so using odata model in ui5 and binding it into the ui controls we can make use of the odata and the sap ui5 that's it for today and we're going to come i'm going to come back with few more questions in the coming session and do comment uh, uh, what do you want in the next session thank you have a great day bye